I'm back with a voiceover this time around and it's October and it's Inktober. It's like my first time being a part of Inktober and it's pretty amazing right now. Um, so far I am just working on things that are pretty much current to me right now. I'm working on a children's book with my sister and this is one of the characters. Um, I am also working on my comic that I've been working on. And that's also, well, I have like a page catered towards that. Um, just pretty much things that I'm developing. I am pretty much using the time for Inktober to get that done. I really didn't have any like thought process actually going into this, but I thought this would be like really good for me to get back into getting into art. Ever since my dog passed away, it's been really hard for me and I was like my art studio. He was always right there to comfort me every time I was drawing, painting, and doing photography and stuff. So ever since he's been gone, it's just been, I've been in a rut. So now I'm back at doing what I love, but sadly it's without him. But this is just a good transition for me to get used to things all over again. Um, I was so used to painting and drawing and working on stuff like every day, but I just lost like the inspiration. But now, since I have goals that's leading up towards something, a few things that are big, then why not utilize this month for that and dedicate that to it? And also, Inktober is also pretty much catering towards mental illnesses and stuff, mental health and whatnot. So depression and grief, Grief is not really a mental health, but depression falls with grief. But yeah, so this is, I'm going through the process of that. But pretty much, I, I missed one day of Inktober and that was okay. I'm fine with that. Like as long as I'm not missing like a week, five days, anything outrageous. I just want to pretty much stay consistent with what I'm doing and what I'm working on just so I can follow through and meet my goals and my deadlines and whatnot. But so far I've just been using, I bought these Copic, um, these Copic markers um, a few months ago in Texas and I never really got around to using them, but why not use them for Inktober and learn how to use them the way that I want to. And I have fell in love with these markers, oh my gosh. And of course I love my Micron pens and stuff like that but I thought this would be a good way for me to get into using them and why not just do it in my sketchbook that I didn't finish yet so but I hope you guys enjoy this voiceover if you have any questions comment subscribe like share if you want to you know share the wealth or whatever follow me on social media I'll follow you back thank you guys for watching